unstoppable predators taken over the South Florida swampland, pushing further and further north into human territory. Its power, speed, and strength are more than a match for any man. And when it sets its sights on younger prey, the results can be devastating. A small boy's been attacked by a 13-foot pet python. The snake grabbed onto the top of the head and skull. Now, the monster snake's trying to crush its fragile prey. After clamping onto the child's head, the snake's body then coiled around the child's torso. But as soon as it feels a breath or any kind of movement whatsoever, it automatically goes into wrap mode. It's just like taking a big crank strap and wrapping it around you with your arms like this and just cranking it a little more, a little more every time you take a breath out. Each contraction of its massive body brings the child one step closer to death. Get off of him! The boy's father rushes in, grabbing the snake, desperately pulling its coils off his son's body. Finally, he frees the boy from the snake's grasp. It would have only been perhaps another few minutes before the child would have already died of asphyxiation. <laughs> God. Alive but critically injured, the child is rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery. Dr. Fernando Serra examines the damage done to the boy's face. I found the uh, extensive scalp lacerations and I saw that the globe or eyeball was intact. It was just exposed. Um, and all the soft tissue was still there. It's a promising sign. But as with any surgery of this magnitude, success is not guaranteed. The operation lasts two hours. It was pretty touch and go. I, I wasn't able to appreciate the full extent of the injuries until we were actually in the operating room. Finally, Dr. Sarah completes the reconstruction. The boy's extensive facial injuries are fully repaired. It's a huge success. I actually saw the child, ran into him in our local area, and uh, a young teenager doing fantastic. The scars were just faint white lines. So wonderful that it turned out to be a real happy story. Authorities euthanize the dangerous reptile to keep this deadly accident from happening again. But things could have been much worse.